So you think you that live in your nice house, your perfect family, and everything is also for you, think that you can compare yourself to someone who survived the Holocaust and had to go through one of the most horrific events to ever happen in the world that you think that you can compare yourself to that situation by saying that Obama and Hitler are the same people or they act or they're the same way in some sort of way when you're not experiencing the same thing that the people that had to experience that went through when you don't even know what it's like you don't even know a tiny little tiny little bit part of what it is it's like to experience what they had to go through in those concentration camps and then you want to compare yourself and talk about how Obama and Hitler are the same people or have the same kind of views and when that situation is such a sensitive topic that you really should not even be talking about in that certain kind of way unless you're trying to educate somebody on the topic because you don't even you can't even begin to comprehend or understand anything like that ever happening in happening to you in your lifetime ever if you dislike the man okay it's okay for you to dislike the man if you disagree with his policies then by all means disagree with his policies if you think that his stance on divorce abortion is disgusting and wrong and vile and cruel by all means think that but that's what you say you don't compare him to somebody who is so beyond anything that Obama could ever think about being and compare those two in that situation and try to put yourself in that same situation with the Jews that had to suffer through that. That's disgusting. That's wrong and I just, I hate seeing it. I hate when people try to do that. I think it is just awful. You're not going through that. You never will have to go through that. And even if Obama has similarities to that man, which a lot of people have similarities to that man because the, the stuff that they say that Obama has similarities to is really stuff that people in general go through all the time. So even if he does have similarities to, he will never compare to, there will never be a comparison because you don't have to suffer the same stuff. You don't even have to slightly suffer the same stuff, and you never will have to suffer the same stuff. If you disagree with his policies, and say you disagree with his policies, but that does not compare him to one of the worst and most horrific people on the face of the planet, the Earth. It doesn't compare. When people were talking about how they disliked uh, George W. Bush, and they disliked his policies, they didn't say, George W. Bush and Charles Manson sure do have a lot in common. How does that even make sense? There's no comparison between these situations other than the fact that they have some things in common. So what? It doesn't put you in that situation. It doesn't mean that you will ever even slightly understand that situation. Or the only thing that you can do is sympathize. That's the only thing that you can possibly do to understand what those people went through. So there's no reason or there's no explanation for putting yourself in that situation. Now, I apologize for the quality of this video because um, I didn't feel like setting everything up. I'm tired and I'm upset and I don't feel like going through all that. So um, thank you for watching. Bye.